going down, fuck the world, I'm a dub. Tell him, ain't nothing stop me but a slug. But a um, let's just shoot real quick, actually, on Canelo Triple G. Because we talked about it a little bit between us, really, um, and on Twitter and all that. But if for anyone that missed it or didn't pay attention or doesn't give a shit about boxing, uh, Canelo Triple G was a pretty close fight. I had it for Triple G, clearly. And I thought it was, like, close, but I thought it was clear. That Canelo, listen, that, listen, that listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cut you off. Right, go, 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 I'm, so, I'm sorry to cut you off. But that's right. it. Anybody who happens to watch, you can put it right there, Jack. If Eddie, the cocksucking Mexican, says that another Mexican lost, you can put it, fucking take it to the bank, put it in the pipe, and smoke it. Jesse, did you happen to catch that fight? I caught a little bit of it. Yeah. From what you've seen, who do you think won that fight? Do you want my honest opinion? Yeah. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I <laughs> hope not. <laughs> Don't pull your Mexican flag out here. I was fixing to make a goddamn point. Don't ruin it. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me set up this flag right here behind me as I as I talk about this fight. No, no, no. You know what? You're right. You have to be you have to be either Canelo Alvarez or his wife or his mama, maybe, <laughs> to see that fight for him. And that's pretty much the only people that saw that fight, even a draw. Anything besides uh Triple G winning that fight. I, I I don't know I don't know what you were watching. Good old Adelaide Bird. I don't know what she was doing. Oh shit. Okay. There well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The two most Mexican cocksuckers on Twitter just told you that Canelo lost. God damn. And listen, I will give it to you. Eddie, you're right, dog. It was a close fight. It was not a blowout. Canelo did still on Triple G a few good times. It was not a, a runaway. That being said. Triple G definitely won the fight. And let's talk about Miss Bird for a minute. Miss Adelaide Bird, who scored the fucking contest 118 to 110 in favor of Canelo. Now, for those of you who didn't see the fight, it may have been close and all, but there's no fucking way that Canelo fucking only lost two rounds. The way that score goes, that means she gave Triple G two rounds of that fight. Ridiculous. That is... Okay, for a moment, it's really, that's the biggest motherfucking headline coming out of this fight. That scorecard, real talk, as huge as that fight was, as big as it was for boxing, the biggest fucking storyline coming out of that fight was that fucking broad score in that card. So let me pose a question to you guys. We deal with this shit in boxing. We deal with this shit in MMA, blah, 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 bad judges. What's the fucking line, man? At what point, how bad does a decision have to be before somebody has to step in and go, you know what, big girl, <laughs> we're taking this right from you. I mean, I, that was just, I, I don't I don't understand. Listen, Eddie's right, or I'm sorry, uh, Jesse's right. It's not even a draw, but the draw, I can forgive. Fair enough. I don't think so, but fair enough. 118 to 110 yeah, in favor of Canelo fuck? is not... Yeah. explainable like she needs to be fired <laughs> but did you hear did you hear what they said she may miss the rest of this year as a as a judge may that means that they're probably not going to do anything to her they're going to allow her to keep doing this stuff See, right. and, I, and i don't think the problem i don't think the problem is the commission at this point i think it's the fact that we have such old ideas of these people like well i've been a judge for this long you know i might as well keep doing it when you have as many, because think back to how many times you can go back and look at a bad decision and the names. It's usually the same. I, I'm pretty sure every MMA fan knows Adelaide Bird just because she gives bad decisions. I'm sure boxing is the same way as well. They know she has some shady, you know, postings on there when she puts up, you know, her scorecards. Everybody's like, oh, God, what is she doing? You know, as a friend of mine uh, was saying, you know, when you're the wife of somebody and you know you get to you get the job just because you're good at one thing and it's not watching fights it's it's not the right thing to do man she shouldn't be there bro one of the people on the Nevada State Athletic Commission uh, an executive director i forget what his name bob was bob bennett I, bob bennett i read a quote after the fucking goddamn shit after the fight and i forget verbatim what he said but basically what he said was, we know she kind of botched this one, but next time she'll knock it out of the park. Now, that knock it out of the park line is verbatim oh, okay. what he said at the end. I'll find I, I read it because when I did the quick little recap shit that I do on SoundCloud, I was I was researching and I read the fucking quote on that little thing. Um, he said next time she'll knock it out of the park. 
I don't even know where to begin with that. That's so <laughs> not fucking okay. What in the fuck? <laughs> First off, what's up with the baseball reference? Baseball sucks, dick. <laughs> fuck knocking yeah. it out of the park. We don't. This isn't baseball, dick fuck. And B, what what are you talking about next time? I mean, this was like, yo, know, fucking fight of the century, man. Like this was the this was the best boxing match we've actually been able to put together in a month of fucking Sundays. There isn't a next time. And like Jesse said, this fucking broad's known for making bad decisions in MMA. This isn't an isolated incident. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, it was Bob Bennett. Bob Bennett's been like every like media outlet has been talking about Bennett has been talking. He's been like fucking like just defending the shit out of her. Saying that, you know, she just had a bad day. Like, what does that mean, a bad day? Like, a bad day is, oh, I got a flat tire and I had to get a spare. I put my spare on there. I swept my ass off and went to work no, half an hour late. That's a bad, a bad day. A bad day is calling that fight a draw. That's bad. Okay. A, ba a bad day is giving, is giving Canelo the fight by a round. Yeah. Giving Canelo that fight by fucking 10 rounds? Okay. Would you I swear use, to Christ. Hey, would you use the word corruption? Would you use the word corruption? The, the way that Teddy Atlas, before anyone missed it, Teddy Atlas went off after the fight, talking about boxing, you know, corruption in boxing and all this shit. Would you use the word corruption to describe what happened that night? I don't think I would say corruption, but I tell you what, it's just because my fucking knowledge is, is limited on the subject, man. Fucking maybe. I tell you what, there is no earthly explanation for that fucking scorecard, man. I mean, that is fucking horrible. Makes zero sense. I mean, I you know, what does corruption mean? Like, is she getting leaned on by the mob, the Mexican mafia? I, I mean, I I don't I, I don't know exactly what. I don't want to get into the fucking Tower Seven uh, uh, area with any Tim Bravo Cook. type shit. Yeah. I, but but I, fuck man, I, who maybe maybe. How about how about this, Fred? Though, would it be fair? to be uh, having parties, like dinner parties and stuff, and having those judges uh, come and, you know, partake in those things when you're the promoter. When you're promoting, you know, and they're judging one of your fighters in a couple days. Mm -hmm. Is that appropriate? Does Would that can would that fall under the category of corruption? I, I mean, that word, I, I think Teddy uh, knows exactly what's going on here. Because when you see a fight that badly scored, you know that somebody really had to make it just, you know, such a horrible decision. They they weren't watching the fight, obviously, or they were told, "Hey, we can't have we can't have him winning. We can't have Triple G winning. It's either got to be one one way or a draw, you know, one way or the other." Because, like you said, the draw you could kind of at least kind of understand, but it completely the other way. I mean, that's. You can't even explain that away, man. That's that's complete corruption, in my opinion. And, and I and I get you don't want to say it, but I mean, come on. How else do you how else do you justify those numbers? You can't. Pretty fucking bad scorecard, man. I mean, I don't. I I, I really don't need know how you get there either. Uh, and it, look, it it just looks bad all over the place, right? And I don't I don't disagree with the word corruption, right? Because it's definitely possible. Uh, and but goddamn. Plus, I mean, uh, you can nitpick it. Eddie Bravo style, right? Triple D's older. Canelo's twenty-seven years old. Plenty of fights left. Plenty of money to be made off Canelo, all right? With all the fights he's got left, so I don't completely rule it out. But definitely, I saw that. I was like, ooh, shit. Like Bob Bennett gonna have something to say about that. Um, real quick on the comments. Uh, what's up, Gary Coaston? He says uh, she's been on the take since the Hollyfield versus Lewis fight. Also, what up, y'all? What's up, Gary? And then uh, Raider in the house saying, also, why do we have people who judge boxing judging MMA as well? Do these same judges even understand MMA? Now, that's interesting because she, she was supposed to do uh, UFC 216. Now, a report that like, like on Sunday or a Monday came out and said, um, you know, it said uh, uh, that she was off 216. But Bob Bennett came out and said that hasn't been decided yet. That's, you know... We don't want someone like her judging MMA for sure. Yeah, for sure. We definitely do need to kind of do something about this. I don't understand why we can't. I don't know, man. There needs to be some like classes or fucking something for these people to take. They can't just be fucking sweeping up old boxing fucking judges. I'm Adelaide Bird. Yeah, like you said, this old fucking broads fucking judging MMA and Bahushi fucking Bruce Lee's stepdaughter. 
Like how how the fuck she how who what the fuck makes her so qualified to judge all these high profile combat sports fucking fights? I mean, she's getting so many egregious numbers. Like, who are you? What what makes you qualified to judge combat sports? She's and, she's a referee's uh, side piece or something like that. Yeah, or well, wife. I, mean, I, I don't remember which one of those. Bro, is, I, I, yo, dog, I seen a picture of, of the lady, and you know, uh, all due respect, no, she ain't nobody's side piece, dog. That's that's like the she, main piece she, you don't want to go home to. No, seriously, she is one of those. That's how she's gotten this job for so long. Because Maybe she gives it. <laughs> I knew you were going with that shit. Huh? I was just going to say, maybe she gives a mean Hummer. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway. I, I, I volunteer Fred to go find out. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But she'd be I, serving know, some this... fucking good purpose. She can suck my fucking dick. <laughs> be better than her judging fights, for Christ's sakes. But I think that's the problem, right? I think the problem is that we have not enough judges that are willing to do this job because they don't get paid a lot of money. They really don't. Just like just like uh, refs, they don't get paid a lot of money. They're not getting rich off of this stuff. You know, it, it's 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 a passion thing, right? You, you don't have enough of these fighters, guys that really know how MMA works, how boxing works, getting well, in there and you know sitting down and watching these fights because they don't get paid enough. Well, well, well let's just change that. I mean, let's just change it. Let's just pay these fucking people more while we're on it. And I'm not being fucking sarcastic here. Let's pay the goddamn school teachers a little more. It is a little ridiculous how some people who are very fucking crucial and important to society or to the makeup of something like MMA, the judges, they're kind of fucking in the refs. <laughs> That's pretty important shit, man, for them to be like, yeah, we'll pay you a few hundred bucks. Fucking everybody else on the cards making millions. The UFC's making millions. And then the judges get paid 300 bucks to show up. That is a little ridiculous. Maybe they should be getting paid a little more money. I'm not saying they should be getting paid Big Bank Hank, but what the fuck, right? Pay them enough money that makes it worth it for them to do their fucking job well. But but you have to understand, this is a commission job. This is a state job, which they don't pay, you know, they don't have a lot of budget to pay. Uh, of course, big markets like, you know, New York, yeah. Vegas, California should have, you know, a good, uh, you know, amount to, to pay these guys, but what do you guys think about, um, because I know it was uh, thrown around a, a lot before when we were having a lot more problems in the judging. What do you guys think about doing what the NFL did? Go out, get your own like set of referees, and pay these guys to do this job. And that's it. No. That's all they do. They follow your company around, and that's what they do. No, no, absolutely not. And I tell you what, that would be okay with me if goddamn cocks suck in California and Nevada wasn't making so much money. Tell you what I'd do if I was the goddamn UFC. I say Nevada, you get your shit together with these judges or these refs, or guess what? There won't be no more cocksucking UFC events in Nevada. Fuck Vegas. People say Vegas, the fight capital of the world. Yeah, because people keep throwing fights there. They had the thriller and goddamn Manila. And guess what happened? It was a thriller. And no matter where the fuck you have fights at, if it's big names, goddamn it, they will come. Oh, They'll yeah. flood motherfucking Cleveland, Ohio, if they have the right fight here. We'll find the fights. We don't need Vegas. We don't need Cali. We don't need no goddamn body. Clean that shit up, or we're not bringing our fucking product, our sport, back to your goddamn punk ass state. That's Vegas ain't the only goddamn place in the world to hold fights. I mean, I get that it's big, but at a certain point, like like you said, fucking Jesse, Cali's got money. Vegas mm -hmm. got money. Texas, for all your horse shit, y'all got money. Y'all want to have fights? Have fucking, you know, a, a, a credit. <laughs> fuck at least competent judges and refs these goddamn ridiculous people you got in there doing the job come on man put out a little bit of coin so the yeah. motherfuckers you know listen man adelaide bird fucked boxing all like right the whole sport like tr listen triple g and canelo and oscar de la hoya's thong wearing ass yeah. they all deserve their credit oscar made the fight happen uh, uh canelo and triple g showed up that was a very good boxing match it was exciting. The last two or three rounds, they fucking got after it. Um, it was a, it was planning to be a great night. Had Triple G just got what he deserved, yeah. And and she came in and fucking took a shit on the whole thing. And now look at us, a goddamn shitbird MMA podcast talking about that egregious decision in what would have been 
a great night for boxing. Like you, you, you gotta do something about that kind of shit, Jack. Yeah, and and, and Bob Bennett was like, oh, you know, she she feels awful. She just feels awful. Shut the fuck up. No Shut shit. up. Does fuck she feel up. as bad as Triple G? <laughs> what the right? fuck? Or the people that had money on Triple G that night? Hey, the Vegas had to do refunds. There was refunds because of that draw. Jesus like, Christ. fuck. That that made a big mess for everybody. That's what. That's why I find it. I find it difficult to believe they haven't done that. They're not going to do something about it. Yeah, they they're did refunds for everybody except for those random fucks that bet that it would be a draw at a million to one odds. That's fucking insanity. Uh, on on the comments, uh, somebody was asking who was the judge on the Ally Quinto fight the, and the Masvidal. Yeah, pretty Rose. Doug Crosby. Who? Yeah, Doug Crosby. Doug, Doug Crosby? Crosby. Yeah, that's who that was. That's the guy that has that like uh, I don't know, like stunt company or something, and he's oh, had yeah. problems. Longo's people, so yeah, he has a, a reason that. not to the dean, and he still sits in there and judges doesn't tell the commission anything, just judges fights in I a bad way. That. I remember that 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 pissed me the fuck off too. Uh, our boy Jeremiah in the in the comments here saying, uh, "I didn't watch the fight, but all the highlight clips are of Canelo." Yeah, of course they are. And then uh, yeah, Rose is the one that asked a question about I uh, Quinta and the Mazadol fight. Gary, Gary saying uh, MMA has been around for a good long while. There should be qualified judges to score it. And then he says, "I work in the kitchen for a living. Wish I had a steak gig for real, for real." I mean, who doesn't? It, Those are the it, safest it, jobs, dog. It it, it it seems like they could get better judges, man. There's got to sure. be a little bit of money, a little coin somewhere for them to fix this up, man. I'm sure the judges don't need that much, but I mean, if that's one of the reasons, and it's a good point, everybody wants to get paid a little bit makes you want to do your job a little better when you're getting paid properly. So something's going to happen. But it's, also, but it's also the thing, Fred, these, some of these refs and judges get paid, you know, to travel, you know, they get to, they get their hotel, their flight, everything, you know, you know, on the company, a hundred bucks. And I, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not the worst proposition to be a judge, but it is the fact that these guys are enticed to do these stupid things. Like, you know, judge judge a fight differently you know or because they get coaxed by somebody you know because they got lavish dinners out of it whatever you know it, it's it, it's a I, balance right we got to find a balance there i think the importance of the fights in the card kind of matter too you know if you're judging fucking john jones dc2 if you're judging a championship fight if you're judging fucking canelo triple g you know a you should be getting paid more than somebody that's judging a couple shitbird boxers that nobody's tuning in to see or nobody cares about. And B, you should have more, you know, you should have higher quality of judges that demand that higher paycheck, just like anything else, right? Shouldn't be like, okay, <laughs> Triple G Canelo, one of the biggest fucking fights in, in years in boxing. We'll just hustle up the first three assholes that put their hands up. <laughs> I mean, there should be some kind of standard set for these bigger fights, man. They made kind of a big deal about who the ref was going to be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like in, in Floyd and Connor, there was a big deal made about these things. Maybe there should be. Maybe you should fucking. I mean, look at that shit, man. I, that it's just insanity.